Right, we are going to run three and see what happens. I'm not going to say anything. Play. Stop. One to the attack. Come back. Play. Oh. Stop. Come back. That's two. That's two nil. Run it back. Now let's come over this side. Katie, why did you let her come this side? Do you add her over there? Why? Okay. Play. Error, so that's 2-1. Okay, come back. I'm just curious as to think, um, on the first ball, Katie let Brenna go to that side, but we had Nick and Lucy also forcing that side. So Katie decided she then wanted to get ball side and force this way, but then that released the top circle ball, which then ultimately releases this whole side of the court. Okay, so in that situation, Katie, would it have been better for you yeah, to stay this side and force Brenna up into the mess. Yeah, so it's being aware of where the rest of your players the are. The one thing I want to say, and I'll ask the coaches, did we hear anything as a defending unit? Anything? They could hear a pin drop, couldn't you? Okay, one of the key things to turn over ball defence is what? Communication. My other question is, Aussie were forcing the attack as a strategy where? High and wide and sometimes in one channel. How many passes did they do before they got out of the end third? Six. Our second phase at the moment is normally about here. So we need to be working a lot harder and communicating for a lot longer. And we need to get tough defence. Ready, play. Good, that's two. Stay on it. Good, Nicole. Oh, Vanessa. Oh, stop. Vanessa, could you come on that? Yes. Okay, back we go. Better. Did we hear anything? Let's just have a bit of communication going on. Two. Three. Oh, four. Keep going. Drop ball. That's success. That's one all. Last one. Right, come on, defence. I want us to get a turnover. I haven't said, but keep her there, Katie. I haven't said play yet. Play. Yes! Woo! We're going to stop there.